All right, guys, here we are. Season three, week two against the Detroit Magnetons. Got a pretty heat team. I just had a test game against Jar. I lost it, but he brought Life Orb of Selgor, which I really wasn't expecting. So I know I need to keep Scizor around uh, as much as possible. And uh, he also brought Calm Mind Jirachi, which was kind of scary, but luckily I was able to break through it. Had I landed a uh, play rough on the Jirachi, I missed one with uh, Slurpuff, uh, then I would have just won. But uh, unfortunately, I missed. I probably should have just gone for two returns. Anyway, uh, it's fine. This is uh, we're about to have our battle. I haven't challenged Colton yet, but we we are about to. And I'm gonna pause it until we get there, guys, and then we'll be right back. All right, guys. Here we go. I was busy clicking on resume on the recording. Uh, very interesting team. We do see the Spirit Tomb, which is really good. Uh, we also see the Whimsicott, though, so we're gonna have to watch out, and the Jirachi. Luckily, the Tentacruel didn't come, which is actually a huge relief, because that thing was a little bit of an issue. Obviously not for Thunderous, but for the rest of the team. So, seeing my opponent's team, um, Thunderous is looking like a pretty solid lead. Let's see. Uh, let me just say you too, and I'm gonna ignore spectators in case people get in here. And, uh, yeah, Aselgore is just looking like a very solid lead. Uh, as well, Magmortar. Magmortar doesn't do too bad. Um, let's see here. What do we want to lead with? Should have pro probably prepped a little bit more for the Magmortar, but, um, we'll roll with it. Let's see. I say... You know what? I say Thunderous. I led with Thunderous against Jar. Okay, my opponent leads with the, the Spirit Tomb, which is not the best scenario for us because... Uh, if this thing is mono attacking, if, like, if it's like Choice Bandit or something like that, that's going to be a bad time. Uh, Will-O-Wisp isn't that great either. I kind of feel like just throwing off a Thunderbolt and calcing the damage and fi finding out how much it does. Let's see, Spirit Tomb. Let's say it's uh, RU Physical Attacker against Thunderous. Thunderous. OU Thunder Wave plus three attacks. So, uh, Thunderbolt does half to a standard fully offensive um, Spirit Tomb. And Sucker Punch does not knock me out, so we could just do that. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Thunderbolt this thing. It did 44%, and he goes for a substitute. Let's see. 44, huh? You're not AV, but you're specially invested. Question is, how much? Huh. Just go for another Thunderbolt. I mean, this thing, again, can't hurt us too much. So he goes for Shadow Ball, does a good amount. He's going to be able to switch out here um, into Whimsicott if he chooses to. I think I'm just going to T-Bolt again, honestly. It doesn't really matter if he goes into that. He actually chooses to go into his Magmortar and take 31% and get paralyzed. Ow, oh, sorry, Colton. Ah, oh, that sucks. Oh, man. That sucks, man. Sorry. Ah, oh, I feel so bad. I don't want to hax him. Uh, okay, so let's see. Let's take a look at our team. I think... Um, let's see. I don't want to get blown back by uh, Hidden Power Grass either. Can Magmortar take us out? Is that supposed to only do that much to Magmortar? Uh, Mag... Mortar. Where are you? Um, I didn't import my sets, which I might want to do. It's Assault Vest Tank. Uh, we're not Life Orb, so we better take that off. It does 32 to 38, so that's about the range, right? How much did we do? 31? So it's definitely Assault Vested. There's no doubt about it. Um, if that's the case, then how much does Fire Blast do to us? A lot. HP Grass to Slowbro is what I want to calculate next. Uh, regular Slowbro defensive. It's pretty much what we are. Uh, HP Grass does not two hit KO, actually. Um, so we can switch into Slowbro right here pretty much for free. He gets fully parried. Um, yeah. Alright, so I think just throwing off a Scald is fine. If he loses this, then that's pretty bad for him. Uh, we do get a crit right there. Obviously, that wouldn't have done so much without the crit. He gets the uh, the Thunderbolt off. Uh, but I mean, two Scalds would have killed anyway, so it's not a huge deal. I think I'm just going to throw off an Ice Beam here. It should be able to knock him out, right? Let's see. Ice Beam. Ice Beam. Nope, 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 nope. We're going straight for Scald and knocking out this Magmortar. Okay, so I'm still looking for Memento into a belly drum sweep at this point. Uh, it's still a very viable option, but I need to get behind a sub so that the Whimsicott doesn't stun spore me and stop that. So that's uh, that's what we're going to be looking to do. I also need to weaken the Jirachi. He didn't bring the Charizard X, which, um, which Jar brought against me. So kind of surprised about that, but... Anyway, we're up uh, we're up six to five. It's pretty good. Uh, Berlin can just get some uh, Regenerator on switching out. And the only thing he really wants to bring in on this is probably a Selgor. 
Uh, or this, okay. That's fine. Um, does a pursuit take me out? From a... Uh, what are you? You're a spirit tomb. <laughs> You're the thing we love the most. Uh, physical attacker. Does pursuit take me out? That's max attack adamant does... Well, upon switching out, let's see. Because I'm going to double the, uh, the amount that it does here. I'm going to change it to base 80. Uh, it does the same as Sucker Punch, yeah, that's right. Uh, 47 to 56, that's max attack, so we should, in theory, be able to live this. Um, I think I'm just gonna switch into Scizor right here. And, uh, he's gonna go for the Calm Mind. Alright, so he's a Calm Mind variant. And, uh, I think we should, in theory, be faster than this. So I am just gonna U-turn on him. And, uh, get off some mean damage. And, what do I wanna go into here? He's probably gonna throw out a Dark move, right? Alright, so... Calm Mind, probably Dark Pulse and Shadow Ball. Uh, Dark Pulse, Shadow Ball sounds pretty legitimate. So I can't switch in Miss Magius no matter what. And he's Calm Mind boosted. So Dark Pulse would probably take us out at this point because it has the same base power as Shadow Ball. And how much does Shadow Ball do at the beginning? 45, so yeah, that would take us out. Um, I need to keep this thing alive. The Mammoth Swine right here, Twerk. Let's see, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do? At plus one, Spadef does uh, Miss Magius' Shadow Ball take him out. Nasty Plot, Timid, Shadow Ball at plus one Spadef. Uh, Shadow Ball should be able to finish it off. I'm going to U-turn into... Do I still need Slowbro? Yes, I do for the Jirachi. Honestly, you know what? I'm going to in a broom. Because if his last move is an attacking move... Um, we're gonna get our Unburden right here, and we're just gonna be able to fire off a play rough. I don't need Broom as much this game, just because he has the Jirachi and he has the Whimsicott, so I'm just gonna knock this thing out, and I'm gonna get off some damage on whatever else wants to come in, so it's fine. Kinda wish I had Thief right about now, <laughs> do some mean damage to the Jirachi, not too much, but still enough. We outspeed everything, uh, barring like a Scarf to Selgor, so. He actually brings in his Whimsicott, which is very interesting. I'm gonna go for the play rough. Uh, he goes for switcheroo and gives us an iron ball. So he makes us slower. That's really, really funny. Uh, and he gave us an item too, so we're extremely slow now. I also cannot belly drum up. So I will just play rough again, it's fine. That's that's cool tech, I like that. He got rid of, he like instantly stopped a, be a belly drum sweep from happening. That's really good. He's gonna go for Tailwind. We're not gonna be able to knock him out here, so we waste a turn of Tailwind, which is really nice as well. And... Actually, what I'm gonna do, if this thing doesn't have any offensive moves, I'm gonna go for Sub. He goes for Encore and locks me in to play rough. So what's he gonna try to do here? Set up with Keldeo? Or this thing? Okay. Alright, alright. So let's see. If this thing is Calm Mind... I'm gonna go directly into Miss Magius here. He goes for the Iron Head, it does a lot. We're gonna see if he's Scarfed right now. And we're gonna go for the Shadow Ball. As he is Scarfed, okay, cool. So he's locked in. Which means I can pretty much freely go into... I think... Scizor here in U-Turn, right? Uh, and then just U-Turn into Thunderous? Yeah, that's a possibility. I can also go into Slowbro. Slowbro's probably the better option. And just throw off a Thunder Wave, I think and paralyze something. Because if I paralyze the Acelgor, it's pretty good. It gets slowed down and it's not able to do as much. And at this point, I can pretty much sack off my, uh, I intended to slack, uh, sack off my Slurpuff a lot earlier, um, but he allowed his, uh, his Whimsicott to go down, so that's pretty good. He's gonna go for Bug Buzz. That's not gonna be able to take us out. Let's see if he has any other offensive move. He wouldn't go for it right here, though. Probably just go for another Bug Buzz. We're actually going to be able to be faster than this thing, even with the Iron Ball. And he gets fully paired again. That sucks. Come on, dude. He would have knocked us out there. This is not helping on his differential. I feel so bad. I'm really sorry, Colton. If you're watching this, if you're watching this back, like, I'm really sorry, dude. I don't mean to hax you out like this. Uh, goes into Jirachi. I mean, at this point, I'm just going to uh, sack this thing off. Actually... I'm gonna try to preserve Differential. I know the hacks was in my favor, but I'm I'm gonna do my best. Um, it's not over yet. He shouldn't be saying GG. Uh, he's gonna Iron Head me. It's gonna do 11%. Uh, we do have the leftovers, so he can't really do anything. I'm gonna Thunder Wave again and try to get a pair off on something. I don't have anything to hit the Keldeo with. Kind of wish I brought Psychic over Ice Beam now, but I mean Ice Beam did hit uh, a lot of things on his team, so 
gonna try to paralyze this thing and get a, a swords dance potentially or just bring in mammoth swine and just earthquake um yeah yeah that's fine go for it man you got it it's all you dude it's all you you gotta go for it <laughs> go for it bro he's just like he's gotta attempt it yeah he's gotta attempt to flinch me down um i'm gonna go for the thunder wave again right here as we are gonna paralyze this keldeo and now it's pretty much neutered uh because of um because of our thunderous uh, i'm just gonna throw off a scald right here as that is gonna break his balloon hopefully he's not calm mind because that could be an issue goes for toxic misses oh my god come on man i feel i feel really bad i mean i'm just gonna go into uh slurpuff again and and try to sack it off it might not happen ah that's that's terrible man i'm so sorry i am so sorry like really i am i'm i'm not just i'm not playing around guys i'm legitimately sorry i don't want to see anybody lose this way and colton's flat out losing this way it's it sucks it's it's really bad um how much does skull do before 11 okay so i'm gonna go into scissor and just u-turn out i think and then just go into slow bro man the team that jar brought for me was really good i feel i guys i'm sorry i i hate being like this on a recording but i don't want to hacks out a friend like this this is terrible like seriously like even when it came down to things that didn't matter anymore he was still getting paralyzed and stuff i know i brought thunder wave on two pokemon but still like come on that's that's just ridiculous it's gonna go into jirachi right here we're gonna try to paralyze and then wear it down with skulls at this point i'm just gonna go for the thunder wave he's gonna go for the u-turn for damage i guess i'm gonna go for t-wave and uh he's lum wait a minute how is he faster than hold up wasn't he faster than our we didn't get off a shadow ball we got off a shadow ball the first time i think that's weird um, yeah, I'm just gonna T-Wave again. He's gonna go for an Ice Punch and try to get the Freeze. I do have Scald. <laughs> I could break out of that, but... Anyway, I don't think I'm gonna get Slowbro the win. Um, I think I'm gonna go into Scizor right here, and then just Swords Dance up and U-Turn. He gets fully parried again. Wow, <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, I'm gonna get up to Max Attack. He's gonna get parried again. I'm gonna Swords Dance again. And, uh, hopefully he doesn't have a Fire move to hit us. He does. Uh, we are able to live the crit. He doesn't get the burn either, which is surprising for a Jirachi. I'm just going to U-turn out now and do 100% and say GG to my opponent. Sorry again, Colton. I am so sorry for hacking you out like that. Uh, I know I brought a lot of status on my team, but I didn't mean to do that. That wasn't the intention. It was really to get the Slurpuff sweep. When I saw I couldn't get it, I kind of changed my plans, but... Like, Memoswine didn't even take any damage. This is crazy. Oh, well, well your Montreal Hapsalls are now 2-0 and oh in the NBA. I know, I know you guys didn't see the uh, the first battle. That's because it was a forfeit and a 3-0 victory for us. So now we are um, 2 wins, 0 losses with a plus 7 differential because of the 4-0 win. I'd just like to uh, say GG again to Colton. Uh, you, got, you brought a very interesting team, man. I like the Assault Vested Magmortar. It actually put in a lot of work against my team if it didn't get parried and hacked out. But... Uh, Thus is Pokemon. There's nothing we can do about it. I got upset about my, uh, hopefully this is going up after my, uh, UPA match. I think I'm going to do it in that order now, but I did miss the Stone Edge on the Scallopede, so, and I've gotten crit every week, uh, where it mattered, like the turn it mattered, so that's just Pokemon, man. I'm 2-6 and six in the UPA. Uh, my opponent, Mens, this week said I should be 5-1, and one, but I'm not 5-1. and one. I don't deserve to be 5-1 and one because the game said no, so that's just how it goes sometimes, man. I know, uh, I'm on the other side of the coin, and I had a rant at the end of my week 5 battle in the UPA, but, um, I mean, there's nothing, literally nobody can control Showdown except for the people that program it, so. That's it, guys. If you enjoyed the battle, hit like down below. If you, uh, aren't subscribed already and you want to see any of these league matches or any of the lives I put out 4 to 5 times a week, make sure to hit subscribe. Leave a comment for me down below. Let me, uh, let me know what you thought about the battle, about the team, if there's any kind of weird sets you want to see. I still need a couple more of my Pokemon nicknamed. I did mention that in the team builder, but if you guys want to go watch the draft review video and give me a couple of uh, nickname ideas on there, just so you can see all the Pokemon, please do that. And of course, as always, the Twitter and Facebook links are in the description. Check those out. I will see you guys next time. Ciao.